Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, welcome back to Desert Lakes and for the tip of the week. This week we're going to talk a little bit about grip pressure. Grip pressure is one of the most overlooked techniques in hitting a golf ball. A lot of people grip the club too light, too loose. They just don't understand how important it is to grip the club in a consistent pressure uh, manner. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how you should grip the club. Most people get the grip too far into their palm. That's one thing we want to pay attention to is that the grip is mostly in the fingers or feels like it's in the fingers and that's a key to having good grip pressure. It's much like if we picked up a golf ball to throw a golf ball. You'd instinctively pick it up in the fingers and it would be a light pressure. It wouldn't be tight, it wouldn't be firm, it would just be light and controlled. So that's very important to understand that that's the way the grip should feel normally. Now when you're talking about the pressure, a light pressure is a very good overall thought for the whole golf swing. It's something that you should think about whenever you're under pressure. Come out here and practice a little bit with the light grip pressure. Something that's not loose but it's just light. It helps a lot of ways because it helps with your tempo, your rhythm, helps you relax you, it helps get your hands activated in the golf swing and engaged in the golf swing the correct way as opposed to having to manually get them going. So grip pressure is a very important thing and it's something that you actually have to work on to get it. But it is a learned technique and not something that's just a, a gift. Okay, now one of the next things that you can do with good grip pressure is learn to hit different types of shots. For instance, around the green, if you want to hit a high soft landing shot, you want a very light grip. Soft hands is a good, a good way to think about it. Seve Ballesteros was one of the best guys around the greens and his hands were so soft and so smooth through impact because he had a very light grip pressure. On the other hand, if you're hitting, chipping a ball up a slope, you need to get that ball up the slope a little bit firmer, a little bit lower on the grip and you can run that ball up the slope easier. In the full swing, if you want to hit the ball high, think about gripping the club high on the club and as very light a grip as you can get. If you want to hit it low, just the opposite. You're going to choke down on it and you're going to grip it a little bit more firm. Now the key to this is that firm is never tight and light is never loose. This is loose. A lot of people let go of the club. You never want to let go of the club. You've always got control of it, much like throwing that ball. It's not loose in your hand and it's not tight. So light, not loose, and when it's firm, it's not tight. Experiment a little bit with grip pressure. You'll find that you can hit different shots with it and that you get a lot tighter than you probably thought you ever did, especially when you're under pressure, when you got that hole and you know the water's on the left and the OB's on the right. I guarantee you're gripping it too tight. So lighten it up. You're going to hit the ball better, your tempo is going to be better, and you're going to be a little bit more comfortable at the end of the round because your hands won't hurt so bad. So experiment with your grip pressure. You'll find that you hit the ball a little bit better. It's a little bit more enjoyable round. Next week we'll see and we'll talk a little bit about the ball flight laws. Make you understand why the ball goes where it goes. Thanks for tuning in.